Hello, welcome to this video is Lena Tim from DetailLena.com and in today's video tutorial we're going to be looking at how to make money at least $200 daily with crypto arbitrage trading, alright? And the kind of arbitrage trading we'll be looking at today is not the one you go and look for a particular exchange where you want to buy cheap and then sell to another exchange in order to make profit, alright? You are not going through the stress. We are going to be doing all of this on Binance, alright? So it means that you need to have a Binance um, account and then you have the app downloaded on your phone to be able to do this kind of arbitrage trading, alright? So if you are new to the channel, you love videos about making money online, you want to learn more about using Binance and making money from Binance, and you want to learn more about crypto trading and investing, then consider subscribing hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published and if you want to join our weekly zoom meetings okay where we will get to take your questions to teach you everything you need to know about crypto trading and investing then link to join my telegram group will be in the video description all right so with that being said let's continue with our video now somebody will ask in case you don't know already arbitrage trading what it simply means if you look at this image okay what arbitrage trading simply means is that you as an individual source for um some of these crypto assets that you want to buy okay you source for a particular platform where it is sold at a lower price okay let's say you go to exchange a or exchange one you buy at a lower price and then you transfer those ones from exchange one to exchange two and then sell them here at a higher price so this way you make a profit all right and if i come in here to coin market cap just to tell you that um there are platform like that. if i click on bnb all right it happens in all of the tokens that you trade okay i want to come in here to market if i click on market if i scroll down here you see um, that these are the exchanges where you can trade bnb all of these exchanges so you can trade it on binance and then the different pairs at which you can trade it on okay so if i come in here to the price tab you see that on binance it is trading at this you see that even bnb usdt is actually trading lower than bnb busd okay so you can do all of this which i'll be showing you all of this just on the binance platform you buy with a different um stable coin and then you sell into another stable coin and you make profit and at the end of the day you switch back again you continue you rinse that process again and again and again and again all right uh, this is how um, arbitrage trading all works okay if i scroll down here you see we are having um the bnb trading at binance at uh, 397 okay if i scroll down here you see this exchange this bitcoin exchange you see that it is trading here at 400 all right you see um binance tusd is trading at 398 okay so all of these different um difference in prices is what you are taking advantage of and then making profit out of it all right so once again what arbitrage trading is all about is you okay you are buying a particular crypto asset from exchange one all right at a lower price just as we are looking at it at the coin uh, market cap here and then you go to exchange two you sell at a higher price and then you make profit this is actually this process is actually very stressful all right that is why i'm showing you how to do all of that on the binance app all right so if we jump to the app all right if we jump to the binance app um if you don't have an account with Binance already, link to sign off an account will be in the video description. You want to make sure that you download the app and then you can follow the tutorials that I'm showing you here, alright? And if you want to learn more about Binance, consider joining the Telegram group, alright? So once you come in here to Binance, okay, we want to come in here to trade. This is not official, this is not margin, okay? We are not trading with any leverage. So you want to come in here to where it says trade, okay? So if you click on trade, by default, we are um, on the spot trading tab, all right? So we are going to focus on the spot trading tab, and then I will show you um, all you need to do here to be able to start, you know, trading, okay? So once we are here on the spot trading tab, the first thing you want to do is, um, you see we have BUSD, USDT here, all right? Meaning that if I sell my funds to USD or BUSD, I can exchange it for USDT. If I sell to USDT and I want to use BUSD, I can exchange USDT to be um, BUSD and it goes on, right? So, but the concept here is to do arbitrage trading on Binance. And how do we do that? 
if I come in here, this is where we select the pairs that we want to trade. Okay, if you come in here to Binance, this is where you select the pairs that you want to trade. So if I come in and click on it, okay, once I click on it, I want to go ahead and search for um let's say BNB. I, I, I like trading BNB, okay. I can go ahead and search for BNB or I can click on BNB here, all right, and it will give me all the pairs um trading on the BNB tab, all right. So if I go ahead and click on BNB. Um, you see that these are all the pairs that are trading. We have um, Avalanche, BNB, Ada, BNB, and so on. But if I go ahead and type in, let's say TUST, okay, um, here, or let me just type BNB, okay, and let us, let me BNB, okay. So, um, what you're seeing here is that BNB is trading um, with USDT, okay, BNB, USDT, you see that it's three. Um, 97 BNB BUSD 397 60 cent this one is 50 cent so you must be careful all right when you are doing all of this so just say I will show you um, how to actually avoid losses on this platform all right um, then we have um, another stable coin here will be I like the BUSD um, let me say TUSD all right okay so look at it okay look at it here TUSD all right right now TUSD is trading at that same price that uh, almost the same price okay and then USDC here if you come in here to you you USDC the prices are the difference in the prices are in cent okay you see that this is for 40 cent and then this one uh, is actually at 20 cent it was 60 cent initially okay it was 60 cent initially now it's 20 cent so you must pay attention now when you come in here i i like doing bnb at times you see the price remain you know the difference in price will remain for if for like a longer time and you can make profit out of it and in most cases it can easily you know <laughs> change hands before you know it the price has you know uh, maybe if you are projecting to make profit with uh, busd before you know it BUSD will not be lower than USDT or it will not be higher than USD and so on. So when carrying out this kind of trade, you have to be careful, okay? Look at the prices very well and you must be careful um, how you go about and buy and, and, you know, what you want to buy and how you want to buy it, okay? Um, if we look at DAI, DAI is another stable coin, BNB DAI, where is DAI, 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 DAI? Okay, so I can type BNB die. Okay, yeah, BNB die is um, um, the price is a bit higher. Yeah, it's three seventy, um, three nine seven seventy cent. Okay, so what you are looking at and why should we be using stable coins? Stable coins are the value of stable coins are tied to a dollar. All right, BUSD one BUSD is equivalent to one dollar, and the price doesn't fluctuate like Bitcoin, BNB, Ethereum, and the rest. Okay. So their value remain the same, all right? So if you have um, 1,000 USD or USDT in your account, uh, and then tomorrow Bitcoins rise from 40,000 to 50,000, you cannot be expecting your BUSD or USDT to increase as well because the value of, that is why they are called stable coin. Their price remain constant, okay? And it, their values are tied to a dollar, all right? So in this case, what happens there is you would be um, on your own side, you're going to be doing the research on whether you want to buy um, USDT um, with a BNB with USDT or you want to buy with BUSD. You need to check out the price, okay? Your, 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 your research now will now tell you, okay, um, BNB BUSD is selling at 397.80 cent, all right? And uh, sorry, BNB USDT is selling at 397.92 um, 70 to 80 cent and then BUSD is selling between um, 80 to 90 cent all right and in most cases the prices are almost look at now this one has turned to um, okay you see that the price keep fluctuating and keep going up and down so the prices are in, um, in the, even if it is 10, 10 cents you are making all right if it is 10, 10 cents you are making you can imagine how much you make within a short period of time with this and this process is something you can rinse and repeat again and again and again all right so we have a 397 um, um 80 or 90 cent if i pair this with um let's say die 
okay, 39770 cent, all right? Um, if I pay it with a TUSD, what do we get here? TUSD, okay, 398, all right? So I can buy in USDT and then sell to TUSD, and at the end of the day, I will convert my TUSD back to um, USDT and repeat the process again. And to show you that that is possible, if I go ahead and type TUSD here, you see that I can trade TUSD for USDT for BUSD and the rest. Okay, so it's the same thing. I can do it, then come back again, buy it again, go sell it to TUSD, and come exchange the TUSD to you know USDT or BUSD, go buy BNB again, just repeat it um, again and again and again. So after looking at this, the difference in prices, if I come back here to let's let me bring out my calculator. So if I pull up my calculator, let's say the difference. If I pull up my calculator now, let's say the difference you're making is um, about 10 cents, all right, per trade. You're making 10 cents per coin. Since it's BNB, we are trading. You're making 10 cents per coin, okay? So if we go ahead and say, okay, we bought um, 500 um, BNB per trade, all right? So if we calculate this by 0 0.10, that means in that trade alone, you're making about $50. And then if you repeat this thing like four times a day, you're making about $200, all right? Now, the profit you are going to make all depends on the amount of money you are trading with, okay? The profit you want to make here, you are going to make here, all depends on the amount of um, money you are trading with. Now, the, the, the hard part of this um, kind of strategy is that you need to go ahead and keep an eye on the market, all right, and source for or search for the coins or the tokens that you want to trade okay um you can come in here i like doing bnb i like doing um ethereum okay and um i think these are basically the tokens that i've tried out okay that works um well for me so you can actually try a lot of different things here um, BTC, you see the prices, but here uh, it all depends on the amount of money you are trading with, okay? So the amount of money you are trading with all de depend, um, determines the amount of profit you are making and then the tokens or the pairs or um, the coins that you are trading, okay? So if you do ETH, you will see um, the difference in prices here. This is for USDT and this is for um, BUSD. Now, what I can say because the price moves very fast, okay. What I can say here is that if you get a particular price, all right, and then you buy with the market price, you will always use um, um, the limit price to sell, all right, so that it will hit, it will always hit your target, all right. Make sure you use the limit price to sell so that it will always hit your target. And the beautiful thing about this is that you don't really need to wait very long. To make um, profit from this kind of trading, all right. So you can come in here, buy BNB with USDT, all right. And then when you come to the sell tab, you now have BNB this this time around. Okay, you now have BNB. So you come in here and look for BNB BUSD. Let's say you bought BNB with USDT at a lower price. You want to sell it in uh, BNB BUSD. Okay, you want to sell your BNB to BUSD. So now you are going to sell it at a higher price. Let's say you bought BNB with USDT at 398, 398, 10 cents. Okay, so here when you come in here to the sell tab, you want to use limit order. All right, you use limit order, you go ahead and say, okay, you want to sell this into BUSD at 398. Okay, let's say we want to sell at 398, um, 20 or 30 cents. All right. So if you bought at 10 cents that you're selling at 20 cents, it means that for the number of tokens you bought, each token is giving you, or each coin is giving you 10 cents, all right? Which is what we did in the calculator, uh, with the calculator, meaning that if you have made, bought 500, and if you times that by 10 cents, you have made 50. If you have bought 200 and you times that by two, um, 10 cents, you have made 20. If you bought about 100 of it, and you times that by 10 cents, you made like 10 10 dollars and so on and this is a process you can rinse and repeat on a daily basis and start making money there are a lot of tokens that i i cannot go you know um after it um one after the other but just know it that whenever you come in here to binance there is every in fact it is i'm 100 percent sure that 
you will buy a particular token with a particular stable coin and then sell it higher with another stable coin so this is the kind of arbitrage that you can carry out on binance confidently and be making money on it on a daily basis all right and this video is for you even if you're a beginner it's something you can try out and it works for you once again if you don't have a binance account sign up with my uh, link right in the video description and if you want to learn more about crypto trading we do have a step-by-step -step guide that can help you you know get started immediately if you want that join the telegram group and we'll see how best we can help you that is it for this video and i'll see you guys in the next video